What is going on guys, it's Declan here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to duplicate your cars and then give the duplicated version of your vehicle to your friend to keep in Grand Theft Auto Online. So this is basically a way to copy your vehicle and then give that copy to your friend and then, then he can go ahead and store that inside of his garage. So if you do go on to enjoy today's video make sure you hit that like button down below guys, let's see if we can shoot for something well over 600 likes that would be amazing. And with that said, let's begin. So, starting this off, this is basically going to be a two-part glitch. It's basically going to be the car duplication glitch followed by the insurance glitch. And I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do both of these right now. So, starting with the car duplication glitch, as you do need to duplicate the car for a friend. Nevertheless, what you want to do is have a friend in the game, and you want him to park any random vehicle in the exact position I Crazy Teddy is parking in now, basically to block any vehicle that comes out of the garage. From there, what you want to do is simply walk into your garage like so and then get into any vehicle that you want to duplicate for your friend to keep. So as you can see, I'm going to be using the Vapid Dominator just to showcase to you guys how this actually works. Nevertheless, what you want to do is simply drive that vehicle outside of your garage and as soon as you see the cutscene of you coming outside, what you want to do is simply press start. Then go to the game store and enter the game store as quick as you can. And as you just saw there guys, I Crazy Teddy was blocking my vehicle as what has actually happened now is the vehicle has now duplicated and there is also a duplicate driver in that vehicle who will try to drive away. Nevertheless guys, once you do enter the game store, simply press B to back out and it should spawn you down into your friend's session. Now don't worry guys, if it doesn't spawn you down into your friend's session the first time, simply ask your friend to invite you to his game and it should work from there the same way. Nevertheless, once you do spawn in, the vehicle has now successfully duplicated. Simply drive your personal vehicle, the one with the tracker on it, into your garage. But before you do that, guys, make sure that the duplicate driver in the other vehicle is outside of the vehicle so he cannot drive off. And only when you spawn back down into the game can you kill the driver. Your friend cannot kill him. Your friend can only simply block him until you are in the game. Anyway guys, once you've done that, tell your friend to get into the duplicated vehicle and then you drive your personal vehicle back into your garage. So as you can see, I now have my Vapid Dominator back in my garage and there is also a duplicated version just outside. Now from there guys, you have done the first part of the glitch. Now all you need to do guys is have your friend do the insurance glitch on your duplicated vehicle to store the duplicated vehicle inside of his garage. So I'm now going to be showing you guys how to do the insurance glitch. So basically iCrazy Teddy has now duplicated me, his vehicle, so as you can see he now has a duplicate version of his vehicle which I cannot normally store in my garage. Nevertheless, as you can see, he basically did the exact same duplication glitch I showed you guys at the start of the video. And in order for me to actually show you guys how to ensure this, I do need to actually do, you know, do it on his vehicle. So, as you can see now, I can't normally drive this vehicle into my garage. So in order for you guys to actually ensure the duplicated vehicle, what you want to do is simply park the vehicle like so, with two wheels on the road and two wheels on the curb. Now this does work outside of any garage, just try and do it the exact same way I'm doing it now, by a road and a curb. And what you need to do is get out of the vehicle and then walk inside of your garage. Now from there guys, what you need to do is make sure that your spawn location is set to last location. You can do that by pressing the start button, then going to online, then going down to options. And then as you can see it says spawn location, just make sure that it's set to last location. Now from there guys, simply press the B button, then hold down back, then go to your inventory and switch your hats. Now what this will do guys, as soon as you switch your hat, it would, should save. As you're going to see now, you should see a saving icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. Now as soon as you see that saving icon guys, and as soon as it goes away, you then want to get into any vehicle that you want to be replaced with the vehicle outside. So as you can see, I'm going to use the Jester. Once you enter the vehicle, you then want to bring up your phone, then go to quick job, join random, and then it will say, are you sure? Now here is where the tricky part comes into play guys. You do need to be really quick here. You need to press A and accelerate at the exact same time. I'm not too sure what them buttons are on the PlayStation, but on the Xbox, it's A and RT at the exact same time. And if done correctly, you will spawn back down into your garage eventually. Nevertheless, what will happen from there, guys, is it should spawn you down into a mission lobby. Now, so the only problem here, guys, is that some people do actually end up starting the mission before you get a chance to quit. Nevertheless, guys, once you do spawn into the mission lobby, what you then want to do is simply quit. Now, if done correctly, and if you pressed A and RT quick enough and at the exact same time, you should spawn into a glitched position like this. And from there, all you need to do, guys, is simply walk up to your friend's duplicated vehicle and then enter the vehicle like so, and then just sit there for a couple of seconds and it should end up glitching you back into your garage. 
as you're going to see very shortly, it does end up glitching me back into my garage and then it ends up kicking me out of the vehicle. As you're going to see now, it just glitched me back and it kicked me out of the vehicle. But as you can see by the mini map, the vehicle has now spawned across there and I actually end up failing here. I actually end up running back into my garage by accident, but the vehicle has successfully duplicated and I now own my friend's duplicated vehicle. So as you can see, once I do end up walking back outside of my garage, the vehicle is now across the road and it has a tracker on it. So that is how you do it, guys. This is basically just the car duplication glitch. And then once your friend duplicates you a vehicle, you're just doing the insurance glitch to insure that vehicle. I hope I'm explaining things well enough, guys. It is kind of hard to explain. Nevertheless, if you guys want, to want separate tutorials on both of these, I will have a link in the top left corner to the car duplication glitch and a link in the top right corner to the insurance glitch. This is basically just a merge of the two. Nevertheless, as you can see, I now own this vehicle. This was my friend's vehicle. He basically duplicated it for me and I now own that duplicated version. In turn, I now own my friend's vehicle. So that is how you do it, guys. And as you can see, I can now go ahead and store this vehicle in my garage. And as you can see, there is the other vehicle that it kicked me out of. It's a very weird glitch and it's kind of hard to explain. I hope I am explaining things well enough. Once again, if you do have any problems, guys, make sure to drop your comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you and try to help you guys out. Nevertheless, with that said, I'm going to leave the commentary there. So if you guys did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button down below. Once again, can we try and shoot for something well over 600 likes? That would be amazing. And if we do, I will be sure to get another video out to you guys today. So make sure you check back later on, guys, in around three to four hours for another video. And with that said, I will see you all in the next video.